for conference championship week we got baylor sitting at number one they have jumped miami miami sitting at number two san diego state sitting at number three for the acc championship game the hurricanes will be taking on the syracuse orange they are heavily favored in this one undefeated syracuse sitting at seven and five Miami with the number one offense, Syracuse is coming off a win against Boston College and Miami of course undefeated in a big win against Pittsburgh Panthers. Hunt has 17 touchdowns for the season, 2,500 yards for the average season and of course the Hurricanes are going off 2,800 yards for Mateo and over 1,000 for Dallas Crawford. And just one more game for the Hurricanes and it's off the national championship. Of course, they have to win this one. They can't let this become a trap game, as they say. The Hurricanes, like I said, are favored. 255 yards passing per game, 200 rushing per game, and 41 points per game. The number one scoring offense in college football. Let's see if Syracuse has any answer for them, if they can stop them today. And here we are kicking it off. Miami's gonna kick it off to the Orange. They're gonna start off this game. And that's in the end zone. It's gonna be a touchback. Burst in 10 at the 25. Let's see what Syracuse has in store for the number two ranked team in the nation. And here's the handoff. And he's brought down after a gain of four yards. Second and six. Here's Hunt and he completes the pass. And the receiver gets enough for the first down. Second and 10. Still in Syracuse territory, the blitz is coming, he's going to get it off, and he completes it, breaks free from a tackle, he's still on his feet at the 30, the 20, are they going to get him at the 10, and he's still on his feet, he's in the end zone for a 62 yarder, Macaulay Hill, Syracuse on the board first, Miami's defense, no answer for them on that drive, they could not bring him down, just a failure to tackle, and he's going to hand it off to Crawford, and it's a gain of 4 yards. Third and two, jumping ahead to see if Miami can get the first. He hands it off to Crawford, and they do get the first down. They're going to keep it going, try to build momentum here. Second and nine, and he gets the pass off to Lewis. Cuts inside. Breaks free from a tackle, but he's brought down after a 21-yard pickup. First and ten here is Crawford. Gets the blocking he needs. Breaks free, still on his feet. And he's brought down after six yards. Second and four. Here is Samuel Mateo deep down the end zone and he completes it to Damari Jones and the Hurricanes score a touchdown and they have the opportunity to tie this one and they respond to the orange. First and 10 for Syracuse, they have some momentum going for them, they just have to keep it going. Completes the pass, still on his feet, he gets the first down, Cornelius. Second and one, he's gonna hand it off to the running back and that's the first down for Syracuse. They're nearing midfield, first and 10 on the play action. The blitz is coming deep down the field and it's nearly picked off. Dion Bush, who else was there to deflect it? Third and five, they're working their way down. Oh, there's a false start. Third and 10 for Syracuse, five wide out set. Here's Hunt, the pressure's coming. He's gonna throw it deep and it's deflected by Rayshon Jenkins and Syracuse does not get the first down. Miami's back on the field, first and 10. And Mateo's gonna keep it on the option and he gets a big game, breaks free. He's pushed out after a seven yard pickup. We know he can be deadly on his feet. Third and four and nearly picked off, but it hits the ground. They don't get the first down. And it's back in Syracuse's hands. The defense coming through for them. Third and 11. And he's hit hard as Hill brings that in for eight yards, but not enough for the first down. That is none other than Raphael Kirby. He's gonna hand it off to Crawford. And he works around the edge, picks up seven yards. Second and three, Crawford on the handoff, picks up seven yards. First and 10, another run play to Crawford, and he gets tripped up, picks up another seven yards. Third and three, Crawford trying to use his speed. Two defenders dive and they miss. Crawford picks up the first down. That's gonna end the first quarter. It's a tied game here, but we know that you cannot 
talk about what the score is in the first quarter when you're having Miami playing because it always turns out differently in the fourth quarter. It's a close game. Miami's offense is known to be slow starting. They don't get the first down, fourth and inches, and this is a gutsy call. He's gonna hand it off to Crawford, and he gets it done. Picks up the first down. First and 10, they're in Syracuse territory. Here is Crawford showing off his speed. And it's going to pick up 12 yards in a first down. Second and six. Crawford had a monster game last week against Pitt. And Mateo connects with Bo Sandlin. 16 yards. And Miami Hurricanes are on the board once again. That's four of seven. And two touchdowns for Samuel Mateo. He's playing well so far. First and ten. Syracuse gets the ball back here. Hunt gets the pass off. And it's intercepted by Deion Bush. Who else? And that's a pick six. The Hurricanes are glad to have him. What a playmaker. And they build on this lead. Defensive touchdown. First turnover of the game. And they're up by two scores. 21-7. to And Syracuse is falling behind quick. Third and three. Let's see if this defense can get a stop. Here's on good protection. And he throws this one away. I don't know what he was doing there. But that's going to bring on fourth down. And the Hurricanes red hot right now. Get the ball back. Second and 15. And he connects with Damari Jones. Very dangerous pass. Triple coverage there. But he brings it down for a first. And here's Crawford on his feet still. Breaks the tackle for the first down. Nine yard pickup. Samuel Mate on the handoff. And he picks up a solid six yards. They're running and passing. Syracuse has no answer. Here's Mateo and nearly picked off. I don't think he saw the defender there. I didn't. He was kind of hidden there in front of the offensive player, believe it or not. Fourth and four. They're going to go for three. Very manageable. And they do get it. And they continue to build on this lead. Miami is just on fire right now. They'll take the three points. First and ten. Half a second quarter left to go. And he drops the pass. This team is on edge right now. Third and eight. Miami's coming at them hard. And he throws this one away to Terrell Hunt on third down. It's going to bring up fourth now. I don't know what he was doing there. Again, nine total yards for Syracuse in the second quarter. 184 total for Miami. And they're bringing it. Here's first and ten. Here's Crawford. And the defender completely just tackles nothing there. Just grabs air as Crawford finds first down and 11. 82 yards for Dallas Crawford today. Third and nine. Sam Mateo looking. And he finds Damari Jones who's leveled after a 19-yard pickup. And a first down. A minute left to go in the second quarter. Here's the handoff to Crawford. Gets some blocking. Is he going to get into the end zone? Yes, he does. And Miami scores again this time on the legs of Crawford. And they have a big lead now. 31 to 7, a minute left. Syracuse looked like they were in this game in the beginning, but like I said, it's deceiving. And it's nearly picked off. Larry Hope deflects that one. Third and 10. He's going to hand it off. And they call a timeout. Miami with 44 seconds left to go. They're going to try to score. For sure, Samuel Mateo finds a wide open Bo Sandlin tiptoeing out of bounds. Picks up a first down here is Damari Jones on the screen. He picks up the first down just very, very fast there. Second and six. And he connects with Bo Sandlin for the first down. They're strolling down the field in the red zone. 18 seconds left to go on the clock. Mateo gets it off and it's picked off by Reddish. Syracuse picks off. Samuel Mateo and he gets the tackle too and we know this is not good because Samuel Mateo when he throws one pick he throws at least three or four I mean they're a big but we know that this tends to give the other team a lot of momentum and that's not how Miami wanted to end the half but nevertheless it is how they end the half and now Miami has a big lead Syracuse look like they were in this one they need to get something together because Miami is dominating on both fronts, the offense, the defense, the pass game, the run game. I mean, they just keeping Syracuse on their toes. Syracuse can't seem to get an answer. Damari Jones completely dominating today. And of course, Dallas Crawford. He's been just a standout running back for Miami. Just amazing. And like we said, that first half did not end well for Miami. They're up big, but they can't let that 
get to their head. There's still a whole half of football left to play. 12 minutes of playtime for Miami, only under four minutes for Syracuse. And the stats, 155 yards, 133 rushing yards, 105 for Syracuse, and only 24 rushing yards for Syracuse. They're being one-dimensional. They have no choice at this point. As Sam Mateo rolls out on second and six, he gets it off to Malcolm Lewis for a first down. What a throw, what a catch. First and 10, here's Sam Mateo, and it's Lewis grabbing that one out of the air. The very dangerous pass, but an impressive catch. Third and five, Mateo under center. Pressure's coming, and he hits him. He can't get the first down that's going to bring on fourth. Let's see what they do. They punt it to Syracuse. Five wide out sets, four wide out set. It's first and ten, and it's batted down by Raphael Kirby. Looked like he could have picked that one off, but he batted it down. Third and one, here's Hunt, and he's going to keep it, but he's brought down. Can't get to the first down marker. This defense is playing shut out football. I mean, they've only allowed seven points, but my God, after that first score, they have been completely dominant. 144 yards on the ground for Miami 119 for Crawford he's having a good game second and three the senior gets another first down for Miami he's finally down first and ten we're midway through third quarter no scores yet pressure's coming Mateo deep down the field too who else but Herb Waters he's been killing defenders deep down the field and that's a third touchdown for Samuel Mateo he's having a monster game he's not letting that last pick affect him and they're up a, another score 38 to 7 second and three for Syracuse and gets that pass off and it's picked off by Miami's defense once again two turnovers for Syracuse and in the worst field position possible Miami gets the ball back and it's a screen pass to Crawford breaking free from two tackles and he picks up a good chunk of yardage Second and one, Mateo's gonna keep this one. And he picks up nine yards and a first down. Syracuse has no answer for them. Here is a screen pass to Edwards, and he picks up the first down, 11 yard pickup. That's the first time we're seeing him today. Third and eight. And it's Bo Stanley, oh, he can't bring his feet down. His pass was just way over his head. They're gonna have to go for three. And they do get it and they score. How many points? 41, that's what been. That's their average points per game. And once again, they've met it. Miami's defense is shutting down Syracuse, embarrassing them. It's second and five and it's a big game, 21 yards. And they're into Miami territory. And that one just hits the ground. This quarterback has been so off. And Miami gets the ball back once again. They're up big. And here's Crawford with the handoff. And dragging defenders to the first down marker. Three seconds left to go on the, in the third quarter. Last play. And there's Bo Sandlin. And they get the first down. 264 passing for Sam Juan Mateo. And that's going to end the third quarter. Miami is running away with this one. They're already looking ahead to the national championship game. 41-7. But they still need to win this one. You never know what could happen here. Is Crawford getting the handoff? And he's going to cut inside. Picks up six. And he has a total of, of 144 yards, averaging 5.3. He has a touchdown. Here's third and three. Here's Crawford. Just like wide open gaps to run through. 10 yard pickup. First and 10. Here's Samuel Mateo to Crawford once again on the screen. He's a tough one to bring down. 10 yard pickup, second and inches. Mateo's gonna keep it on the option. And he runs right up the middle of the field for 11 yards. Less than half a quarter to go. And 209 yards rushing today. They're gonna go for another field goal. And they score again. It's three points, but Miami's building this lead. Syracuse has no hope at this point. UCLA upset Stanford. 45 to 24 Stanford season hopes for maybe a potential national championship is over but UCLA interestingly could still be in the picture we already know Baylor won their game against Marshall 
number one team and here is another pick Miami picks Syracuse off once again three turnovers for the orange Barrett fellows and here is the second team offense he's gonna hand it off to Crawford still in this game he cuts outside they can't get him easy are they gonna bring him down he's gonna score again no he's pushed out of bounds after a 32 yard pickup and Old Edwards is in this game and he's gonna muscle his way for another score 50 points for Miami and as I was saying Baylor's number one team won their conference championship game dominantly and Miami is doing the same thing I'm guessing those two teams are gonna make it in but UCLA got a top five win so it's gonna be interesting to see what they do here how the end Cole is going to look and the receiver fights his way for a first down. Third and ten, less than two minutes to go. They just want to close this one out. Miami's second team defense making plays. Loss of two and the game will finally come to an end once Olsen takes a knee. And Miami wins the ACC championship game. And it looks like they're going to be heading to the national championship right now. A very, very dominant performance. They completely dismantled Syracuse. Dion Bush showing up for play of the game for a pick six. He's been an amazing defensive back this year. One of the best players on this defense. And we can't forget Sam Mateo. Just a dominating performance today. He went completely, just popped off. He had a pick. But he erased it from his mind quickly and he made up for it with the big performance and an ACC title. And the players are celebrating. They are happy to have him to transfer from South Alabama. Player of the game, 20 of 29, 274, three touchdowns. And they're going to hold the ACC trophy. Samuel Mateo gets it done for the Hurricanes. What a magical season it's been for them. And Syracuse, they made it to the conference championship game but falling short just a tough game for them Miami outdoes them in every single category Rayshon Jenkins player of the game defensive it should have been Dion Bush I don't know why Jenkins got it Samuel Mateo 68% completion rate Dallas Crawford went off of course again 194 yards 6.2 average and a touchdown and the ball was thrown all over the field with Damari Jones leading it, four receptions and 79 yards and a touchdown. And Miami brings home the ACC title. Up next, we'll have the results from all the conference championship games. And of course, more importantly, we'll reveal who the national championship game will host. The number one and the number two team. Stay tuned, guys.